struggling a little bit with my favorite cars in C-Class. Not really a Honda Civic driver. Um, some of the Stradales that are out there are, you know, really good on the leaderboards. Um, so I thought maybe this time I'd do something a little bit different and just pick, a, pick my favorite track and uh, fix the car that runs the best on that track for me and uh, provide you guys with that, with the parts and tune on it. The actual the parts are probably going to be real similar to what this car was when I released it probably about three months ago. This uh, ghost that I have on here is my own. I think it's like 100 and... I'm going to say 150th. I can't remember if it was in the 140s or the 150s. So it's a pretty good ghost. Um, I'm actually on my third lap now, um, mainly because this car is so light, it takes a long time for the tires to heat up. This is actually probably my first at temperature, at pressure lap that I've had. This car gets a little bit better and a little bit better as you get into the race a little bit deeper. Alright. Got a little bit, little bit of not top speed on this car because my car actually tops out. But I have a little bit of acceleration on this other car, mainly because I changed the downforce on it. We'll run maybe a maximum of three laps and try to beat this thing. I have all my new suspension settings on it. I have uh, my brake settings on it. I have um, the uh, acceleration, deceleration, differential change. Got that a little tight. Should be able to top out this car a little quick, quicker than the other car. There we go, good turn. Right as I said that, it said good turn. Kind of funny. It's like I'm braking maybe a little bit too much on that corner. The differential settings are actually helping me uh, slow the car down a little bit using the engine. So that's when I'm doing a lot of these huge brake points. Handling's still pretty good. No, I broke too much there too, but that's alright. Go straighten her up. Don't don't get dirty. Ah I had it beat. That means my next lap is going to be dirty too. Darn it, last part of the track. Beat it by six tenths of a second. That's actually a pretty good margin. I would definitely put it down into the top 50 because it's real tight. This track is, there's only like three seconds between where I was at and the top spot. And we just made up more than half a second on that. That's right, we'll run a couple more. We'll see if we can run. Not this lap, obviously, but the lap after that, clean. And it's a little bit, slid a lot there, unfortunately. Let's see if we can put it all together on the last lap. All right, this time I'm not going to slow down quite as much right here. I'm just going to, there we go. Oh, don't spin the tires though. That was better. We definitely made up some time there. Looks like overall we're faster this lap too by about another three tenths. So if I can finish this lap out, we'll be about a second. Ooh, no, I won't finish this out. So we'll be about a second faster, but not like that I won't. We knew this lap was going to be kind of for naught anyway, so let's see if we can get this next one down. As you're seeing, I'm pretty consistently beating the car other than not keeping it clean. Using the deceleration there to help slow the car down because it broke a little bit too late there. Ah, oh, I tap 
the brakes just a little bit too much there. Here we go, good one there. Go, go, go. Oh, I slid a little bit of there coming out. But that's right, we should do okay here. And went a little, a little wide there, but we'll be alright again. Tried not to hit the brakes at all on that one. It's probably a little bit too fast. Those new suspension settings really help through that S right there. As you can see, we always make a lot of time up right there. Not a great lap. So far, so good. Okay, don't don't do that. Muck it up there at the end. Ah! One more time, guys. Sorry. Got to put it all together here. There we go. Full, full, full. There we go. Turn, 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 turn. Yes, there. Oh no! I just, just tapped it outside. Ah! That was the thumb mistake there on the steering. Straighten it out a little too soon. Ah! I just did it again. Sent the car out a little bit. I'm gonna lose a whole bunch of time there. No brakes this time, no brakes, and dirty. All right, we'll call that good. So we only made up about two tenths there. We actually could have made up almost probably a full second if I would have drove with a darn. Love this track. Don't necessarily love the car, but it is wickedly fast on this particular track. So from here, let's go to the parts bin. I'll give you guys the parts and the tune on this car. It's a little bit tougher to drive, so if you're not used to a car that oversteers a little bit and you have to kind of throttle control a little bit, it's going to be a little bit difficult. What you might want to do is take it and put a little bit more downforce onto it. Um, that helps steady it up a little bit. And um, I'll give you a couple suggestions if you want it to not oversteer quite as much. So we only got up to 129th. Um, like I said, we probably could have got a lot better there. We would have been about, what, 100, about a minute 36. We would have been a lot better off, but that's all right. Still, a really good car. You put some time into it, you're gonna get a really good. You're gonna get in the top 100 for sure. And if you get in the top 100, make sure you let me know. I always like to get feedback on the cars. And let's go to the parts bin. And let's start with the conversions. Uh, no engine swap, no drivetrain swap. Uh, we do have a centrifugal supercharger here. It's a good amount of horsepower for a very little PI. We do have a few engine parts here as well. We have the race intake. I was surprised how many parts I was able to put on here. We got the stock carburetor. We have the stock ignition. We have the race exhaust. Uh, we have the stock cams and valves. I tried to bump it up in there um, to make it rev a little higher, get a little bit better top speed, but I couldn't do it. We have the street valves. We have the racing uh, engine block, the race engine block. We have the race pistons and compressions. A lot of parts. You think we wouldn't be able to get this many parts on here? We have the the street centrifugal supercharger. We have the stock intercooler, and we have the stock oil and cooling system, and we have the stock flywheel. So quite a few engine parts there, surprisingly enough, on that car pretty quick. Uh, we have the race brakes, we're going to have the race spring and dampers, we're going to have the race front and rear anti-roll bars. We're going to be right in the middle here, we have the sport chassis, roll cage, and on the weight reduction we have the race weight reduction. It's amazing how many full upgraded parts there are on this car, it just cracks me up. We have the stock clutch, 
that is the stock transmission I would love to get a little bit more top speed out of it but uh, we have the sport drive line and we have the race differential again surprising here enough we have the race tire compound that's what gets our handling up so high at the 5.5 mark we have the full width on the upgraded front tire width at 235 and then we have the full in the rear as well at 255 got some monster tires on this little car uh, we have the lightest wheels set up on here and I just happen to be on the Inky Ink Inky RPF ones um, it is the lightest wheel equivalent you can you can grab those we have the stock front rim size and we have the stock rear rim size uh, we have the front Forza bumper and we have the rear Forza wing and we deleted the stock rear bumper I think that was a weight thing five pounds all right that's it for the parts let's go through the tires and the tune here we got 27.0 on front and rear the gearing is stock so no adjustments there we have camber side at negative 3.0 in front and rear and we have the front caster 6.0 the toe is zeroed out um, anti-roll bar this is actually set to understeer a little bit 14.09 uh, in the front 9.86 in the rear um, I probably if you're if you're understeering a little bit too much you can up this number to about 16 or 17, but I wouldn't go too much higher than that. It'll just stop turning in for you. Um, but change that front number and make it higher. The springs, you could probably go a little bit higher. You could probably go to like the 360, and maybe up to 400 on the front springs if you want to try to reduce the oversteer on it. But if you go much further, it's just going to stop turning as well. Having said that, when the front springs, we have 314.4 right now. And on the rear, we have 261.1. We have the right height all the way down to 6.3 and 6.9. Dampening, we're using the Race Boy 77 settings, 11.7, 11.7, Thank you, Race Boy. Um, I did end up putting a little bit more arrow into it, not as much as what it had before, but I have 65 in the front and 113 in the rear. If you are having stability problems, you can also increase this as well. Um, I think before I had this at the midpoint, but you could even crank it up even higher than that. You'll lose some of your speed. Um, but you'll gain a little bit in handling. 47% uh, and 200%, I don't have any problems locking up the tires. 47% uh, for sure, and then whatever braking force that you want to use. I just use 200 on most of my cars now. Uh, acceleration at 38%, and I increase the deceleration up to 31%, and that allows me to use the engine to brake it a little bit more. Um, all right, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and save this out here for you guys. You guys can go ahead and either download it or create your own off of my, my video here. Thanks a lot for watching.